हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास इन लास्ट क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज इम्पलसिट फंक्शन एंड वी लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड डी वाई बाई डी एक्स फ्रॉम इम्पलसिट फंक्शन इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डू अनदर थ्री प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इम्पलसिट डिफरेंशिएशन वंस यू आइडेंटिफाइड गिवेन फंक्शन इज ए इम्पलसिट फंक्शन टू फाइंड डी वाई बाई डी एक्स फ्रॉम द इम्पलसिट फंक्शन वी विल फॉलो थ्री थिंग्स Number one, we will differentiate given implicit function with respect to x on both sides. Number two, once differentiation is over, we will write all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all terms other side. Number three, we will take dy by dx common. Once we take and dy by dx common, then we can easily write what is dy by dx. You please keep these points in your mind while doing implicit differentiation. I am going to disappear now whenever necessary I'll come back and I'll guide you You please observe this question number 4 if xy plus y square equal to tan x plus y then find dy by dx here this function is implicit function because it is a function in terms of x and y In last class we clearly we learned the definition of implicit function. In this question from this implicit function we need to find dy by dx. While finding dy by dx from the implicit function you need to keep three points in your mind. To find dy by dx from the implicit function first we will differentiate given equation with respect to x on both sides. Once differentiation is over then we will write all dy by dx terms at one side remaining all other side next uh, we will take a uh, dy by dx common of the after this third step you can easily calculate dy by dx to calculate dy by dx from implicit function i'll differentiate this equation with respect to x on both sides differentiating with respect to x on both sides is nothing but for this equation you write d by dx on both sides like this You observe here for this equation I just written d by dx on both sides now you observe this part how we will differentiate this we will differentiate each and every term like this look here d by dx of xy plus d by dx of y square now you observe this right hand side part d by dx of tan x plus y we differentiate each and every term like this derivative of tan x plus derivative of y Okay now dy dx of xy here you observe xy product of two things is there so to differentiate this i'll use product rule you know derivative of uv is u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u so for this i'm going to apply product rule you see what i'll get u u means x into derivative of v derivative of v this is v derivative of v plus v into derivative of u this is u derivative of u so d by dx of xy is what x into d by dx of y plus y into d by dx of x okay plus d by dx of y square here you observe d by dx means we are differentiating with respect to x given function is y square given function is in terms of y we are differentiating with respect to x as these two are different how you will write the answer as you know derivative of x square is 2x you write derivative of y square as 2y look here derivative of y square i written 2y after writing 2y as given function is in terms of y we are differentiating with respect to x as these two are different you just write into dy by dx look here into dy by dx that equal to dy dx of tan x derivative of tan x is secant square x look here derivative of tan x is secant square x plus dy dx of y in last class also we used this frequently d by dx of y is same as dy by dx little bit of simplification i will do here x into d by dx of y d by dx of y is same as dy by dx that is what i written y i written as it is 
Derivative of x with respect to x. We used this very frequently till now. We know that derivative of x with respect to x is 1. I written that plus 2y into dy by dx equal to secant square x plus dy by dx. Rest of all are as it is. At this point, at this point, the differentiation is over. That means actually here first step is over. I differentiated with respect to x on both sides. Once the differentiation is over, while finding dy by dx from the implicit function, what is second step? Write all dy by dx terms at one side. So in this equation, I'll write all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all other side. You see, this is dy by dx term, this is dy by dx term, this is dy by dx term. So I'll write all these terms at one side, remaining all terms to other side. So x into dy by dx, 2y into dy by dx, this plus dy by dx is there, na? I take into the left hand side, it will become minus dy by dx. Remaining terms, here secant square x is there that I kept as it is. You observe this left hand side, y is there. You take this to the right hand side, then this plus y will become minus y. I hope you are understanding. What happened in this step? In this step, I written all dy by dx terms at one side. As per the third step, after writing all dy by dx terms at one side, we will take dy by dx common. So here what I will do, in this term dy by dx is there, in this term dy by dx is there, in this term also dy by dx is there. So I will take dy by dx common. If you take dy by dx common here, x plus 2y minus 1 is remaining, that is what I written here, equal to secant square x minus y. See once you taken dy by dx common, from this, from this getting dy by dx is very easy. What is dy by dx from this? You take this expression to the right hand side. So dy by dx is secant square x minus y divided by x plus 2y minus 1. You observe this fifth question. If x square plus xy plus y square equal to 100, then find dy by dx. You observe this equation. Is it is a function in terms of x and y? Is it is in the form of f of x comma y equal to 0? Yes. So this is implicit function. We need to calculate dy by dx from the given implicit function. You observe here, first I considered given implicit function. To get dy by dx from the given implicit function, I'll differentiate this with respect to x on both sides. Differentiating this equation with respect to x on both sides is nothing but you write dy dx to this equation on both sides like this. You observe here, I just written dy dx to this equation on both sides. Now you observe this part. How we differentiate this? We differentiate each and every term. Like look here, dy dx of x square plus dy dx of xy plus dy dx of y square. I am differentiating each and every term. In this right hand side, dy dx of 100. As 100 is constant, derivative of constant is 0. So here 0 I written. Now you see dy dx of x square. As you know basic differentiation, derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x. Now you see this one, dy dx of xy. Here we are going to use product rule. Product of two functions is there. So x into derivative of y plus y into derivative of u. So here just I am applying product rule to this xy, okay? And you observe this one, dy dx of y square. dy dx, it means I am differentiating given function with respect to x. y square, it is a function in terms of y. As given function is in terms of y, we are differentiating with respect to x. As these two are different, how we will write the answer? See here, derivative of x square you know na, derivative of x square is 2x, so you write dy dx of y square is 2y into, as the given function is in terms of y, we are differentiating with respect to x, as these two are different, you just write dy by dx. All these things we learn in earlier classes, okay, equal to this 0 I written as it is. Now, little bit of simplification I'll do in this step, okay, 2x plus x into dy dx of y, dy dx of y is same as dy by dx plus y as it is I written from the above step. We are using this formula very frequently. We know that derivative of x with respect to x is 1, okay, plus 2y, 2y into dy by dx equal to 0. I hope you are understanding. What happened at this point, differentiation is over. 
Once the differentiation is over, what is second step? We will write all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all other side. So in this equation, you see this is dy by dx term, this is dy by dx term. I will write these two terms at one side, remaining all other sides. You see, x into dy by dx I written, plus 2y into dy by dx I written at one side. Whatever the remaining terms are there, you take it to the other side. This is plus 2x. When I take it to the right hand side, it will become minus 2x. And this is plus y. When I take it to the right hand side, it will become minus y. So if we take these two terms to the right hand side, you will get like this minus of 2x plus y. Once uh, we return all dy by dx terms at one side, then we'll take dy by dx common. You see here, I'll take dy by dx common. If you take dy by dx common, what is remaining x plus 2y? Look here. When you take dy by dx common, what is remaining x plus 2y? Okay. Equal to right hand side, what is there? Minus of 2x plus y. That is what I written. From this, what is dy by dx? You take this term to the right hand side. So you will get dy by dx equal to minus of 2x plus y divided by x plus 2y. Now you see this question. Sin square y plus cos xy equal to k. Then find dy by dx. First thing, it is a function in terms of x and y. So given function is an implicit function. If given function is an implicit function, to calculate dy by dx from the implicit function, we will follow three steps. Step 1, we will differentiate given implicit function with respect to x on both sides. Step 2, we will write all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all terms other side. Step 3, after that we will take dy by dx common. See, let's see how we will find dy by dx from given implicit function. To calculate dy by dx from the given implicit function, first I take in given implicit function. Now what I'll do, I'll differentiate this with respect to x on both sides. Differentiating with respect to x on both sides is nothing but you just write d by dx to this on both sides. You observe here, I just written d by dx to this equation on both sides. Now, d by dx of this term, how we will differentiate this? We will differentiate each and every term like d by dx of sin square y plus d by dx of cos xy. d by dx of sin square y, d by dx of sin square y, you observe here, sin square y, I written it as sin y whole square because I know that sin square y can be written as sin y whole square plus d by dx of cos of xy equal to as k is constant, we know that derivative of constant is 0, I written 0 here. d by dx of sin y whole square, how to differentiate this? d by dx, it means I am differentiating given function with respect to x. sin y whole square, this is a function in terms of y. What I'll do as per the chain rule differentiation, I'll imagine this as x. When you imagine this as x, it looks like x square. Derivative of x square is 2x. Na? You write that derivative of x square is 2x. You imagine this whole thing as x. As derivative of x square is 2x, that 2x I written in place of x I written sin y. Okay. Into which one you imagined as x, you need to differentiate it into d by dx of sin y. All these things we learn in chain rule differentiation. To understand this, it is important you must go through that chain rule differentiation video. d by dx of cos of xy. Here, you imagine this whole thing as x. Then it looks like cos x. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So derivative of cos xy is what is minus sin xy into which one you imagined as x, you need to differentiate it into d by dx of xy. I hope you are understanding. Equal to 0. 2 sin y into d by dx of sin y. Here, d by dx means I am differentiating with respect to x. Sin y means given function is in terms of y. Then how you will differentiate? As you know, derivative of sin x is cos x. You write here derivative of sin y as cos y. As given function is in terms of y, we are differentiating with respect to x, you just write into dy by dx. All these things we learn in earlier classes. Now you see, plus of minus is minus sin xy into, you observe here, dy dx of xy. We are going to use product rule to differentiate this. I'll take this as u, I'll take this as v. Derivative of uv is u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. You see here, x into derivative of y plus y into derivative of x. How you got this? I just applied product rule to this equal to 0. Now, you see trigonometry formula is there. Sin 2x is 
2 sin x into cos x like that 2 sin y into cos y is sin 2y. 2 sin y into cos y is sin 2y into dy by dx minus sin xy into x as it is I written. d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx plus y into derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Okay, equal to 0. Now, here little bit of multiplication I will do. Sin 2y into dy by dx, this is as it is from the above step, minus. Here I will multiply these two terms, then what I will get x into sin xy into dy by dx. Now, when I multiply these two terms, what I will get plus of minus is minus, minus y into sin xy y into sin xy when I take it to the right hand side I will get a plus y into sin xy because I want to write all dy by dx terms at one side remaining all other sides that's why this minus y into sin xy I taken to the right hand side. Now you observe in this step I written all dy by dx terms at one side. So I will take dy by dx common now in this. If I take dy by dx common from this what I will get? I will get sin 2y minus x into sin xy look here sin 2y minus x into sin xy equal to y into sin xy. This is as it is from this step, right? Okay, now from this you can easily write what is dy by dx. You just take this term to right hand side. So dy by dx equal to y into sin xy divided by sin 2y minus x into sin xy. I hope you understand this problem. Dear friends, taking these videos takes so much of time. If you drop a like, I will be very happy and share these videos with your friends so that they will also will get benefit. In case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.